Hey, what is going on ladies and gentlemen? My name is Corbett and I'll be your host today for Europa Universalis 4. Welcome back to episode 40 of the Glorious Revolution as Germany, where today we'll be declaring war on Tunis, which will bring in the coalition members of Mantua and Portugal. Then I'll simply try to achieve a white peace with uh, Tunis to try and uh, just give myself a quick truce timer. Which should by itself dissolve the coalition, because Portugal is the entire backbone of the current coalition. So, shouldn't be uh, too hard to go ahead and get this whole thing done. Let's declare on this, and, um, you know, to be honest, I might actually just go after Mantua first. I think that is what I'll do, actually. I'll go after Mantua. And we have this guy sieging up here. You are going to take care of. Uh, you're going to take care of that little stack there. And we're going to have you move in so that I can. Oh, minor inconvenience. There we go. We're going to go and take that fort, and we're going to have you stand next door, like that. And we're going to have you slowly move down to here. And once you take care of those rebels, you'll. Clean up those provinces and uh, whatnot. Now, Genoa was actually the last province I needed to core. And they're being very rude by sitting on that. When they really don't need to be. I'm also just going to barrage this so that I can very quickly get across here. I uh, might be able to siege it. There we go. And if I can siege it, that means I can fight. And if I can fight, that means I can core. And I do want to core. There we go. Okay, uh, so you are going to move into here for some reason. You feel confident with that decision, uh, which is weird in my opinion, but okay. And I'm feeling pretty confident just dropping a few mercantilism slaps right there. So yeah, you're feeling overly confident about this, which maybe you shouldn't be. Because it's not a very good idea. Yeah, exactly. Anyways, uh, you need a new leader. Let's just give you one. There you go. And you are going to siege that. Uh, I'm just going to take Manto's forts and piece them out. You are going to deal with these over here. You're making your way down. Cool. Works for me. We're just going to guard this place from Portugal, I think. Uh, you can stand there. Good. Oh, another fight. I didn't even notice that would happen. Uh, but we managed to grab that. But I'm going to want to move this guy into there as well, just in case. Never be too cautious. Okay, uh, more rebels. Those ti this time it's over here in Dalmatia, which is fine. Let's see what I can do here. Uh, papal Separatists. Okay, well we'll deal with that in a second. Once we siege all the Mantua forts, who is still at high, okay, that's fine. Actually, can I just... I know it's not a very good idea, but like, can I, can I just do it anyway? It's a pretty high level fort. Sheesh. Uh, now let's keep these guys here. Just in case. Actually, can I move over here? Because I feel like I'd be able to win that battle. On a woods, uh, they have less men. They don't have a full front infantry either, which is weird. So they're definitely going to lose that, yeah. Okay, cool. And then maybe I can clean it up here, or they're maybe retreating, I'm not sure. Ooh. Uh, that was weird. They didn't even take damage from that one. Um, not really sure what's happening there, I'm going to be honest with you. Because they should have gotten stack wiped that first time, but they just became invincible. They didn't lose any men. They didn't have any manpower. Or sorry, no morale. Ah, uh, you, are you going to die or <laughs> Are you going to die or no? Like, which, what's happening here? Because I'm losing casualties for no reason. Fighting stacks, that should be dead. Let me just go and take these as well as uh, a couple of attacks here. Pop, pop, pop. Beautiful. And that gives me the ability to grab some 
admin ideas. And I can also construct the Kale Canal, which I should because there's no reason not to. It's only 10k, and that's some chump change. That's a bit of a pocket change there. Okay, 71%, don't fail me now. Thank you very much for not failing. But I do have some Separatists to take care of. You know what? Uh, hold on, I didn't even take care of that one. Let's get you guys over here to get rid of that Separatism. Let's have you down here to get rid of this Separatism. Um, and then, yeah, the Mamlocks are doing Mamlock things, I don't know. Cool, I guess. We can stack wipe you on the mountains. There we go. Beautiful. Uh, I've lost a leader, which would happen to be... Someone. Admiral? Yeah, my Admiral's going. Okay, that's fine. Oh, that... That new Admiral's not fine, though. God damn, he sucks. Three fire. That's literally it. That's what he does. He has three fire. Okay. Right. Anyways, Mantua. Unless I can piece Tunis out, but I... Yeah, that's not gonna happen. So, uh, Mantua, right? These three provinces. Money. And, uh, well, I can't really get your alliance... I feel like I could get more from that instead, but it's not gonna... Oh my god, the system hurts me so much. Okay, we're gonna do this, and then we're going to... Do that. Even then, we could demand more, but the, the whole system here isn't really working out anyway, so... You know, it is what it is. So, three provinces, thank you very much for those ones. Bop. We're going to hand those off to my subject in a little bit. Um, but we have other things to focus on, so let's bring the Navy around. Uh, you guys are going to be good as you are. Let's do that. Get rid of those... Ships. I mean, let's be honest, they're probably going to crush me too, because my ships are trash, and my Admiral's trash too. Uh, former Candidalism for three Innovativeness. That is a, a brilliant deal, actually. That's amazing. Usually it would take a lot longer to do that. Wait, Ottomans joined the Coalition? Oh, shoot. Ah, you know what I did? <laughs> ah, I took a little too much land. That's what I did. I took land from Mantua, which brought in the Ottomans. Ah, right. That would do that. That would definitely do that. Well, let's see if I can get rid of the coalition anyway. Uh, the Ottomans do have like 300,000 men, so I'm guessing that's not gonna do much for the coalition. See, I get one person out. <laughs> one person that has like 300,000 men. But another person with 300,000 men comes in anyway, so... Yeah, that's, that's definitely a fun time. Well, let's see if we can get rid of that anyway. Or just play around it the same way we played around with, like, the, uh... We're playing around with the Portugal one and with Spain and all that. Okay, yeah, that's not the end of the world, though. Let's bring you into... Here, I guess. We're gonna do the same thing with this guy. We're gonna bring you into Portugal. And let's see what we can do here. Uh, right, we're moving you into there. Great. Gonna move you into here. Can get rid of that problem there. You guys can definitely be moved down here. Minor inconvenience. Because, yeah, cores and all that stuff. It's totally fine. Stab 75% government reform progress. That's a tough one. Uh, well, are we done with our reforms? We are done with our reforms, so I'm just going to take the reform progress. That's not a problem. Yeah, that's not a problem at all. I'm not coring these, am I? Because I shouldn't be coring them. Because those are going to my subject, so... I should not be coring those. Donegal. Ah, you guys have landed up there. Okay. 
Well, let's just try and get Portugal out then. Let's have you guys over here. Oh! We actually did go ahead with it, which is interesting. Um, because it looks like you're actually, uh, maybe outnumbered? It's actually roughly even, just, they're using a lot of cavalry. Huh, weird. So, this has become a situation and a half. Uh, who's the leader here? Ryazan, oh, that's annoying. You guys are all the way out there. Oh, that's a little bit annoying. But it is two separate wars, so it's not the end of the world here. Yeah, okay. Let's focus on one of these wars, uh, uh, you know, just focus on one of them at a time. Uh, instead of chasing around a whole bunch of different stacks. I'll have one stack go around and do some things, but let's, uh, you know, just focus on one thing at a time. Alright, I'm just going to take uh, Lisbon and Evora and Tunis and Kef, I think. So there is Lisbon, which might get me Portugal. No, not quite. They want to see their country burn a little bit more first, and I'm, I'm willing to oblige. Well, that does make my whole um, giving this to my vassal thing a little bit more annoying, so I'm just going to court myself. Because I would give it to them, but someone decided to have a little bit too much fun being trigger-happy on that war deck, so I'm going to have to do this the slow way. Evora is done. Uh, let's try and get Portugal out. Uh, no, they want to watch their country burn even more. Never seen such masochism from a an AI. Okay. If they want it, then I'll give it to them. Alright, let's find someone to get my superiority over. I'll let the Ottoman siege because siege is not the war goal, so... Let me just, uh, you know, grab all these stacks here. Uh, Tunis is done, which is cool. Livonians are done. Mantua... Uh, sorry, Livonians are popping up. Okay. Let's see what we can do here. I'm just gonna go and stack wipe some troops. Uh, I have... Almost finished sieging Portugal. There we go. So Portugal will probably leave. There we go. And I'll just take a bit of money for my trouble. Um, unless you're close to low. Are you close to low? Yes, you are close to low. Okay, I'll wait for a few months then. And then I'll keep going. Tunis, uh, once I get Portugal out, will probably drop to low. Just because... They, uh, will have almost, like, no men left in comparison. Um, right, Rebel Uprising, some Brabant, that's totally cool, not a problem. Uh, am I done here? Portugal's at zero. And all the cores are done. Okay, cool. So my overextension's fixed. Gonna get rid of those guys. The Ottomans are just gonna swarm in, but that is what it is. Did I not stack wipe you? Or maybe I just didn't even fight you at all. I don't know. We're getting some tricky things going on here. Uh, are we winning battles or losing battles? Oh, well, almost no battles are happening actually, so I can't even tell. Portugal's at low, so Portugal, I'll accept your money. And that's it. I don't want your land, I just want you out of this and with a lengthy truce, so thank you. Uh, Tuna should be at low because they have, like, no men left, or, you know, they don't have much left, but I'll just take a, a swift alliance off of them, maybe. Oh, well, maybe I should have done that with Portugal. Oh, well. Oh, well, it doesn't matter anymore at this point. Alright, let's drop Tunis down to low here. A 
I'll do something like that. Just get that occupied and besieged bonus. And... Now they're getting a little far through Hungary. Pushing through my buffer state. Let's just... Let's just do that real quick. Uh, which we should win. With higher morale and tactics, there's no reason we shouldn't win that. There we go. And I'll take that fort too. Alright, let's send these guys back. You're at low now. Cool. Uh, I'll take that. Alliance. That alliance. I don't care much about the Portugal one, but I do like the Mamluks as an ally, so... Or I could just wait a few seconds. I mean, there's also that. Oh no, you have revolutionaries now. We're heading out. We're, we are done with that. Have a good day. So you're going to be moved back into... You're gonna, you know what? You know what? Actually, how about I move you into there? Oh, I can't queue up naval things? Okay, that's cool, I guess. Uh, we'll move you into here then. And we have to fight a coalition, but that is as simple as simply beating up OPMs with our stacks. So let's do that. That would give me a truce with actually almost everyone except for, like, Spain and the Commonwealth. Which might be something I'm interested in. So I can, like, do a triple truce timer. Truce with Commonwealth, Spain, and Ottomans all at separate times. Not a bad idea. Uh, are you, like, invading my allies too? Because if you are, then, you know, by all means, I'll, uh... Hand it off and stuff. They want parts of the offer. That's weird. They usually do want parts of the offer. Uh, if it comes from, like, your allies and stuff. Let me see... No, they haven't been invading Transoxiana. Only a little bit. That's why there's some core returns available, but... Uh, nah, that's not important right now. Do you, do you really think you can win that? Because I don't think you can win that. So you're just going to die and make us lose war score. I don't even know how much war score you just hemorrhaged for us, but it can't be worth anything at all. Right. Right. That was minus three war score? Are you kidding me? That is significantly more war score than it should be. Like, pretty significantly. Huh. Weird. But okay. I'm just gonna have you go into there. And, uh, I mean, let's have this stack move up into here. Gotta get rid of those guys. I'm gonna have you stand there instead of attritioning. Let's have you move into there as well. Quick naval things. There are actually a lot of men here, so if I could, like, stack wipe this, that would give me pretty instant superiority. Which is cool. Alright, let's bring these guys over here so that we have a line of defense somewhere around here. The Ottomans by themselves have, like, a pretty decent number of men. Like, four, <laughs> Christ, 400,000. That's a lot of men. Yeah, I would, I would actually consider that, you know, a lot of men. Now, I also want to ally the Mamluks again. But we're going to have to wait until this punitive war is complete. I actually hate fighting punitive wars. Not because it's, you know, feels bad to get coalitioned, obviously, but... Ah, uh, just the fact that it takes so long to piece these stupid things out. They get plus 50 reasons to not piece you. Oh boy, is that annoying. Nice stack wipe, though. I'll take that. So what are we at? So you're telling me that this was, as, was worth about as much as this. That's what you're telling me right now. This fight, where I stack wiped 47,000 men was just slightly more than stack wiping 9,000. Four times the men, 0 0.06 increase in war score. That, does that seem a little disproportionate to anyone else, or is that really just me? Because that seems a little bit wrong. Hmm. Big thunk on that one. 
but okay. Oh, you're trying to run away. Can I catch you? Ah, uh, I cannot, unfortunately. But I can catch you on the retrieval here. Good evening again. Oh, it's a long, long walk to there. Alright, well, I can't really piece people out separately. Another brilliant aspect of coalitions. So, we're going to have to do this, like, the long way, which is nice. I really don't think uh, 150,000 men are going to be able to stop that siege over here, especially when it looks like 300,000 are coming to defend it. So I would have literally, not even figuratively, half the men. And I'm not cool with that, so... Looks like I stack wiped them, or they left, I'm not even sure. Looks like it was a stack wipe, though. And we're gonna defeat that. Cool. How much was that last one? Uh, it's not even gonna tell me. Which is weird. But okay. Alright, how about we move these guys over here so that we actually might be able to fight them someday? Oh, let me fight those stacks. I'll take that, actually. But yeah, let me fight this stack. See if I can just take it out real quick. Uh, those are the Kong ones, yeah. I'm not too concerned about those. But how long has this episode been going on? Because I did set a timer. So we're sitting at... Oh, just around three minutes left. Not bad at all. Let's just go and stack wipe that. Easy win. Very nice. Of course, we're just going to get rid of that stack as well. Good start. Good start, I'd say. Now, how are we doing? We're not quite at... E we're not even that show superiority. Ugh. Minus 30, sorry, not 40. Minus 30 for Coalition. Doesn't make it less painful. Almost makes it more painful. Livonian Separatists, yeah, we'll deal with that in a hot minute. These are woods. Yeah, I really wish I'd upgraded these forts too. I only upgraded the ones that were like in actual Germany so that I could, you know, win a little bit. I do have free force march on, so I think I'm just gonna have these guys uh, do their thing. I re Dude, I really hate it when your AI vassals just, you know, they just suicide your your war score into the ground in punitive wars. Ah, it's really not fun. But you, on the other hand, are making a monumental mistake that I'm going to capitalize off of. Like a absolute, oh, an absolute banger of a mistake. I think. Yes. Absolute absolutely massive mistake there we go beautiful <sighs> well isn't this fun all right well i think we've taken our show superiority i think that last battle was worth something uh for some reason i, I think it just stopped showing me battles like it just it's just not going to show me battles anymore i don't know why but yeah, okay, sure. Battles, they don't exist. They're fake. They don't actually really exist. Cool, I guess. Truce with Spain is up, but we're already fighting a coalition Spain, so if you could just calm down for a minute. You can join the coalition. I don't care, because there is no other coalition. There's just the one. So you can join a second one if you feel so inclined. Oh, there's the timer for today. Well, I kind of want to finish this off, but I don't know if it's possible. I'd have to get, like, max war score from battles, and it's kind of kind of annoying to do that. It's 
17th of August, I get on the 20th, so yes, I can fight this. Yeah, I think the goal is just to stack so hard that they uh, don't even want to reinforce it. I think it's just how I'm going to win this. Discontent zone. Well, isn't that nice? Uh, how about I do the same to you? Build a spy network a little bit. Uh, I can do some stuff to Spain. I don't know. I'll give them, like, corruption or something. Commonwealth, I can give you. So discontent. Sure, have fun. Uh, Tunis, I can do, I don't know, corrupt officials or something. All right. Another really, really nice battle. Of course, it's not going to show me anything from this. Unless it has been, and it's always at the bottom. In fact, I think it is. Yeah, okay, never mind. It's always been at the bottom. I'm just stupid. We've been getting some good war score, which is nice. Again, I stand by the idea that I might need to get max war score from battles, which is 40. Just to win this without sieging Ryzan. Um, or I could, of course, just siege Ryzan. There's that, too. Uh, that would be a little bit painful to get through. Maybe, though. Anyways, let's start sieging some things. And moving in to better positions. Artois is done. You, you're still there? You're still alive? That's crazy. Okay. I thought you were dead. I thought you were, like, long dead. But I guess I never, uh, actually made sure you were dead. So that's reasonable to a degree. Alright, I don't really like what I see here. Uh, you, you should actually stay here. Yeah, do, don't, don't, don't move. Don't move. I just want to make sure I have men in positions. Uh, like that one, exactly. They were close to actually walking right on top of me. But we ran, randomly grabbed that lucky siege, so. There's another lucky siege. Uh, oh, you took your capital back. Okay, that's fine. And what's the goal here? Uh, Germany's making gains. Well, that's good. Cuneo. I don't even know what that is. That? Yes. Okay. That's alright. Let me just block off reinforcements and go in for this kill. Are you... Hold on. Wait a second. Are you... Are you locking into a woods fort? Why would you do that? That is suicide. Why would... Why would you do that? That one makes no sense to me. Why would you do that? That... That was so stupid. Okay. Thank you for the free win, I guess. Now let's clean up these troops over here as well. It's free war score. Uh, that is not free war score, though. So, we're sitting at 22 from battles and taking war score, which is nice. Not enough to win this, but it's nice. Uh, what are we at? Like, three times casualties? No, two times. Two and a half, maybe. Okay, well, that's nice, at least. A little bit of a consolation, if nothing else. If having to fight this massive coalition war means uh, losing few men, then, you know, I'll, I'll take it. Okay, I really like Free Force March. I like the way they changed Force March, where if you're not moving, you still get your morale back. That is... Oh, that's a spicy. That is some spicy stuff. They might take Veen, though, just because I can't do anything about it. Kind of sucks. Like, there's that... Dude, that's 300,000 men. I can't do anything about that. Look at that. Look at that. Why would you do that? Why are you doing this? <laughs> that is a ridiculous amount from attrition. Look at this. What? What? Is there a sense of accomplishment through this much attrition? Is this working for you? Also, um... Yeah, they have no manpower and are on mercs now. Cool. Well, you can have that. That's no problem. I'm just gonna stack wipe this if you don't mind. Because you left it unattended, so... I'm just gonna block you off from, uh, reinforcing it. Cool. And if you want to fight there too, then by god I'll do it. 
Ah, uh, there we go. That's another stack white. Though we do have a bit of separatism. Oh god, yeah. This is going to be painful to deal with. These ones I don't care about, but these ones I kind of do care about. Alright, can we... Are we done with this whole thing? Oh, we're close, actually. Okay. Normally I would say, alright, let's just wrap this one up and finish it off tomorrow, but I think we can actually finish this war, like, right now. And I wouldn't want to just, you know, separate a whole giant coalition war into two pieces. Like, that would be kind of boring, so. Let's do it right now. I can't take anything, but I could just white piece it. And you know what? Screw it, I'll take it. There's no reason to escalate it when I could go to war with the Commonwealth and then Spain and then just kick both their butts. So I'll just take that. I'll take that as a prize instead. I'll take the, um... I'll take the peace deal as my prize. I'll take that truce timer as my prize. Although, uh, it's sort of unfortunate. I can't, you know, I can't stagger it. Uh, what I'm going to have to do is figure out who I'm going to declare on day one so that this coalition doesn't restack itself. But actually, no, I'll declare on the Ottomans after those five years. Yeah, that's what I'll do. That makes so much more sense. Anyways, stack up a little bit. Let me just go to max, except for... Yeah, no, nah, screw it. Let's go to max. Let's see if I can finish this whole thing. Finish it off right now. Just do that so that I don't cap yet. Uh, I don't like how you are eyeing up Veen. And you've... Oh, you've taken Prague and you just burned it to the ground. That's rude as hell. I'm going to need another battle, I think, just to finish this one off. A battle will give me around three war score, and three war score is roughly what I need, so. Uh, let's see what I can accomplish here. Looks like they're sitting around with like 250,000 men. I don't think it's quite 300,000, is it? Uh, one, two, three, one, two, three. Sorry, that's one, two, th that's 100,000, 100,000. So, yeah, it's like 250,000, which is what I have. So, I actually will fight them over here. Or over here. Just depends. See if I can. Isolate them a little bit. Oh, I don't want to fight that. Not really, because they might reinforce it. But also, yes, I really do. I'm going to see if I can intercept in like any way possible. I can intercept one. I don't know. This is a little weird, I'm not gonna lie. So, we fought one. Uh, oh, no. I don't want to click on that. I didn't want to click on that stack. Alright, well, I can just get rid of this one instead. It's not a wipe because they're just living off of zero morale for two weeks, but... Ah, uh, that was a bit painful because that sort of split it in two. Where on one side I did get it, on the other side I didn't get it. If I'm fast enough, though, what I can do is I can actually stack wipe this one. Uh, this stack over here, which didn't get its morale tick, uh, but apparently I'm not fast enough. All right, now we're finally done. Oh, jeez, this has taken a long time. All right, I think I'm going to take this. I think I'm just going to head out of this peace deal with my uh, eight-year truce. Sheesh, well, that was painful. I really should have managed myself better so that I didn't get that coalition. Um, you know, obviously I shouldn't have taken taken the land here, because I wanted to attack the Ottomans separately, but I can just fight them again in eight years. But we're definitely out of time for today's episode. Hopefully you enjoyed this massive coalition war, because I hope we don't have to do another one like it. For now, though, this is Corbett signing off, and as always, have a fantastic day. I'd like to give a shout out to all of the patrons for the month of August, starting with those in the Admiral tier, T-Lord4, Ben Greenhagen, Car Newley, Tiger Pop, and Davin Collins, those in the General tier, Justinian, Brennan Arcano, Torvalt, and Farron, those in the Prince tier, Natsuki, Rockbox2020, and TFLJ Martis, in the King tier, we have Chewy Shoot as always, and the Mad Lads in the Conqueror of Worlds tier, we have the Mysterious, Corbite, and the Watcher. Thank you guys so much for your pledges, it means a ton to me, 
and I cannot possibly thank you enough.